Hello guys and welcome back. <clears throat> Today I want to talk about the Bible in action this time. And uh, so one of the liberal facts I've heard all my whole life is this. The rich get richer and the poor get poorer and you need the government to help with all that. They use it to try and say the working individual that you are will never make it. And that's why you need the government to care for you and to provide services and things like that. So this is an idea that my dad fought against us having in our minds and used many examples of people who started in poverty and rose to riches through sacrifice and hard work. So he would give us many examples throughout history, many examples we could see in our, you know, our lives at that time. He used himself as an example as well because even though his parents had a lot of money, he had none. So... <clears throat> You know, he used whatever he could, however he could show us that, that's what he did. So these things I later, later saw echoed in my own life. Wherever I worked, it was the people who lived under their means and saved that got ahead. And it was the people who invested even just small ways. So if they had a 401k available, these people invested in a 401k. It's not my choice, but it will make you money. And you don't have to do too much with it. So it was these people who invested in the small ways that became richer each year. Okay. Proverbs 13, 11 says wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. And this is what is proven time and again. All right. If you save each month, it'll build up. You'll have money. That's just common sense. So I wanted to show how even in this world that we're talking about, these ideas are here. So this is a millionaire series by ESI Money. It kind of shows you how to manage your money so that you can do well. And they're talking about they completed 100 millionaire interviews. All right. And ran some, some, some stuff on it. <laughs> so how did you accumulate your net worth? So they asked this, right? It says, basically, there are three principles. Earn as much as you can, save as much as you can, and invest the savings over time to watch it grow. Now, one really simple, easy way for someone else to do this is through a Roth IRA through your bank. That's not the best way. You can get, you know, more returns and things like that in, in, by not going to a bank, by going to, like, an investment firm. But still, it's a simple, simple thing you can do every day to help with that, all right? Hebrews 13, 5 says, keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So living below your means and being humble with your wage is what this is talking about. And in this particular article, that is what is mentioned, that you need to be humble with your wage. You need to take your wage and go, okay, I don't need to live this to the max. I need to live this to the minimum. And then you'll always have stuff left over. And then you can save and have for the future. Okay. So it's what works. All right. They're, they interview millions or they interview hundreds of millionaires. And this is what works. Proverbs 13, 7 puts this another way. One pretends to be rich yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor yet has great wealth. So you don't want to go out there looking like you got a million dollars, even if you have a million dollars, right? You want to take your money and save it. You want to take your money and give it, which is where I'm going next. Giving is also a big factor in many millionaire stories. Proverbs 19.17 says, Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for this deed. This is a secret the world does not want you to believe. Many times in my own life, though, God has provided funds when they should not be there. People who did not know I had a need have walked up to me and given me money. All right. Saying, God told me you needed this and walking away. They don't want anything else from me. They just want to give me the money and leave. <laughs> funds have appeared in my bank account. Bonuses have been larger than they should have been. Work has come our way, and we have always had what we needed, plus some, all right? God looks out for his people. Now, this is a thing that a lot of people don't want to talk about, and it's something that you don't really talk about unless you're a Christian. 
and that is that if you are generous and if you are managing God's money, because we believe that all the money that we have, no matter what job it is, is money given to us by God, okay, to manage, then he will give you more of it. Now, that means if you're poor and you manage your two pennies well by putting them aside, you have managed it well and you will gain. If you're rich and you manage your two millions well, he'll give you more. So it's never in a Christian idea of things, and even in reality here, it's never the poor lose and the rich gain. It's always the good managers win. So no matter where you start, I started with nothing, very little. Throughout my whole life, up until I was married, any money that I made except for maybe tips went towards my dad's household because that is how we survived. So from the age of like 18 all the way till 25, I, did, I was not able to keep any of that money, but I was working full time the whole time. So until I was 25, I was not able to manage any kind of money, but now I can. And now I will manage it well. Sometimes you do have to wait, sometimes life gets in the way, but as soon as you can, and as soon as you have something, manage it well for God. If you are on some, some kind of situation where you're on a limited income, there are ways for you to help people that God will bless. And I, since I don't know each and, every, each and every individual's situation, I can't really say like what each person could do, but there's something where occasionally you will get more. So you can take a little bit of that more and put it aside and then take a little bit of that more and give it away. Be free with it and God will honor you with that. What I've learned over time is simply this. The more you look at life the way the Bible talks about it, the more hope you have and the richer you become. Because as a hopeful person, you'll go out there and try things. <laughs> So not only in material things, but in love. I see these same ideas echoed in the conservative side of life, where the liberal or leftist will tell you everything is against you, the conservative will say, just work it slowly. Like food and flowers that grow in the garden, all good things come, to, come through work, sacrifice, and patience. Remember that when the world is trying to tell you that the sky is falling through the media and other people. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it finds you well. Check out the links below for the quotes I mentioned and common sense ways you can apply biblical ideas to your life. Remember, in these troubled times, the way to true peace is to have that relationship with Jesus Christ. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.